So this is pretty weird. Um, I have got back to Exeter today and I thought I'd go for a little walk up on campus just to see what it's like. Because when I was last here, uh, there was a little sign at the bottom which basically said, yeah, you can't go in. But they removed that sign. So I'm now taking advantage of that sign not being, not being there. Also, if the hair looks shit, then I do apologize because with a lack of hairdressers, I've had to resort to cutting my own hair. And so the results have been a little bit mixed to say the least. So, um, so yeah, I'm just walking up Forum Hill. I'm gonna go see if the Forum's open. It probably isn't, but I just wanna see if it is. I think the uni should like officially open up or like maybe not like open fully up, but open up as far as possible. Um, like fairly soon. So I'm gonna go see if, if you can walk in the forum. Can you walk in the forum? No, I don't think you can. But I dare say within a few weeks that doors will probably be open. Um, they're just, you know, probably making it so that it's safe, I dare say. But, uh, oh, it's nice to, real nice to see campus again. Not gonna lie. My old home, the physics building. It has been a while since I've laid eyes upon that monstrosity of a building. Gonna go and uh, walk through Reed Gardens because fucking hell, I've missed, I've missed my like therapeutic walks through Reed Gardens. They're very much needed in term time. But they'll be even more greatly needed now. So I'm gonna do that. Also, actually, I might also go and, uh, God, my hair is bad. <laughs> I might also go and check out, um, what's it called? The view, the Holland Hall view, which people pay 11 grand a year for. I kind of take it that accommodation has opened up um, right now. Or well, actually, I don't know like what would have happened actually during the hard lockdown um, to the accommodation. I, I don't know whether like, because obviously there would have been some people that would have had to stay there. So I'm not sure how how it would have worked. It would have been pretty tough, not gonna lie, um, spending all that time in halls because the rooms aren't big and also you're not you wouldn't have been able to have seen anyone at all. So you know, thoughts go out to anyone who was like currently in a room, like a small room. We'll get through it. You're a pers perspective. If you're a prospective student and we're unable to get an open day, then I can quite easily provide a virtual open day right here um, because every tour I've been on always goes, always goes here because, not because of that, that's not normally here, but mainly, get ready for it, mainly because of that right there. See, that is, uh, that is, quote unquote, the view. This is where you can sit outside and uh, chill normally, gaze over the view and take time lapses of the sunset and have romantic dinners and all that stuff. Oh, I must say actually the last time I was here, it was a really cloudy day. Um, so the view actually wasn't this good. Um, it's actually really, really good now that I look at it, but I wouldn't pay an extra grand for it, if I'm being honest, so. Yeah, this is Holland Hall where JK Rowling stayed, I think. Yeah, I'd make a great ambassador. That's probably why I didn't get selected actually. So um, continuing this like virtual tour, here is the wellbeing center. This is another place that you always get shown on the open day. Um, this is where you can go to get uh, men help for mental health. Um, very important obviously uh, I have been there a couple of times and I can say that it did me a lot of good so uh, I would recommend going there also just after exams to be honest that's uh, that's the place to go so now we come on to Reed Hall uh, this is the fancy hall of Exeter I suppose um, 
places where like sort of lots of venues uh, and balls and like end of end of term balls and stuff are held. Uh, it's really cool. The food there is very very good, and you normally get given um, a bottle of wine, a complimentary bottle of wine. Uh, however, it doesn't come cheap. Um, you normally have to pay uh, quite a lot of money for an event there, but it is worth it, and it's worth it for a photo taken on the stairs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will know what I'm talking about after you've had an event there, because there is an obligatory stair photo that people must have. I think on all the open days I've done, I've only ever been round Reed Gardens really. It's just Reed Gardens and Holland Hall. Um, you don't really go too far afield, uh, but you always just get shown this bit, which is hands down the best part of the University of Exeter. So yeah, I very normally do this walk um, multiple times a day. And so as soon as I turn like the corner onto this one pathway, I just got, suddenly got like a load of really weird flashbacks of every time I've been down this path. Uh, which is just really weird just doing it doing something that you normally do every day uh, but you haven't done for like three months it's just a odd experience in there is Queen's um, they do a very good uh, coffee at Queen's which I actually only found out this year uh, which is surprising because I'm a big coffee person um, it easily trumps costas so if you want coffee uh, that's the place to go there's also another one down by the Amory building which I might also pass on this tour I have to now that I've said that. Now here's the guild, which I'm pretty sure is not open. I don't know why I'm checking, I'm just kind of curious. 99% chance it's not open. Nope. And this is the point where I realized I should have probably not come up this path. However, it wasn't, it wasn't barricaded the other end, it just barricaded this end. So, you know, how was I to know? Uh, this is actually also where the strikers, um, yeah, remember them? Remember when that was a thing? Uh, that's where they set up camp and stopped like campus vans from uh, coming in, I presume, which was which was fun for a little while. That's the other side of the forum. So unable to get back through that way. So just passed a campus van and was slightly worried that I was about to get busted for being up here, but thankfully he didn't give a shit, so it was good. Um, but yeah, I guess I might wrap up this little little tour. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, my god it's so nice to be back here. I've really missed Exeter. You know, home's good and all but three months at home doing nothing else. Uh, it definitely gets to you, I can say that. So, um, so yeah. I hope you see you guys soon. Uh, if there's any guys that I know who are watching this, um, I'm really hoping we can meet up, we'll meet up soon. Um, now that things are looking a little bit better. So yeah, stay safe, all that shit. You know the, you know the drill, I'm not gonna go over it again.